Hi guys, welcome to the 6.5 notes video. This lesson is on limits of sequences. So um, if you guys have seen the movie Mean Girls and you know the scene where Lindsay Lohan says, there is no limit. Um, this is kind of the foundation for what she's doing. She's doing it in the context of calculus. All of calculus is limits. Um, so we're going to get just a very brief intro to that idea. And if you go on in math, you can learn a lot more about it. Um, okay, so the limit of a sequence is essentially the long run value of the sequence. The long run value of a sequence. So the idea is if you go way, 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 way out in the sequence, what's happening? Um, is there a single value out there or is the sequence still changing? So um, some sequences have limits if there is a single value way out there in the sequence. Some sequences have them. Uh, and some sequences don't. So if you go way, way, way out in the sequence and the sequence is still changing a lot, it might not have a limit. So we're going to look at the cases where um, a limit exists for a sequence and the cases where a limit does not exist for a sequence. Okay, we're going to start with um, when a limit exists. So uh, in the official definition, these two cases are combined into one, but in our kind of first encounter with limits, I'm going to break it into kind of two situations. So the first situation where a limit, a sequence would have a limit um, is if at some point in the sequence, the terms just stop changing. So at some point out in the sequence, its terms stop changing. Okay, so just a quick example. Let's say this is our sequence. One, two, three, four, 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 and four forever. So we see uh, that right here, oops, I'm clicking the wrong button. Oh my God. Okay, right here, <laughs> the terms have stopped changing. So from that point on in the sequence, the terms are just four forever. So if you go way, way, way out in the sequence, you're still going to be hitting four, four, four. So the limit or long-term value of this sequence is just four. Um, and same with the next sequence. So say we have a sequence 78, 77, 76, 76, 76, 76. So right here, uh, the terms have stopped changing. If you go way, way, way out in the sequence, you're still going to be at 76. So the long-term value of this sequence would be 76. So that is its limit. Okay, so that seems really basic, um, but we're not so lucky to have it be the case that every sequence at some point stopped changing. Some sequences never stop changing. Um, but they can still have limits. They could still have like a long run value. So this idea is a little bit more abstract, um, but a sequence could also have a limit if as you go farther and farther out, farther and farther out in the sequence, the terms approach a single number. So 
So I'm going to highlight the word approach because that's a really important word for limits. And approach just means get closer and closer and closer to. So in this case, we're not going to actually hit the limit, but we're going to get closer and closer and closer and closer to it. So if you have a sequence and as you go farther and farther out, you're getting closer and closer and closer and closer to a particular number, then we say that that is the limit of the sequence, even if the sequence doesn't actually hit that number. So as an example, we might have this sequence here, 0 0.3, 0 0.33, 0 0.333, 0.3333. So every term you're adding another three on. And as we go way, 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 way out in the sequence, we get a longer and longer and longer string of threes. We might remember that if you have an infinite decimal of all threes, that's the same as one third, right? So we're never going to actually hit one third because we need infinitely many threes to get to one third. But every time we add a new term, we get closer to one third. So we're going to say the limit of this sequence, I wanted that to be yellow. So you could say the limit is 0.3 repeating or one third. Okay, another example of this would be this sequence. So we have 101, 101.9, 101 101.999, 101.9999. 101.9999. So we're adding a 9 at the end every term. And ask yourself, what number is this getting closer to? And hopefully our answer is 102. Every time we add another 9, we get a little bit closer to 102, right? Already at 101.9, we're really close to 102. And then we get even closer, even closer, even closer. So as this sequence goes on and on, it gets closer and closer to 102. So we say the limit of this sequence is 102 because it's getting closer and closer to that number. Okay, so those are the two situations where a sequence is gonna have a limit. Um, but like we said, not all sequences have limits. So let's look at um, what it looks like when a sequence doesn't have a limit. Um, so a sequence doesn't have a limit, or we say the limit does not exist, if uh, the terms of the sequence um, never approach a single number. And again, that word approach is in there, and it's an important word for limits. And remember that approach just means to get closer to. So if you're approaching someone on the street, you're getting closer to them, right? So if uh, terms are approaching a number, they're getting closer to that number. So uh, if we are approaching a number, we have a limit. If we're not approaching a number, we don't have a limit. So let's look at our first example here. 8, 12, 16, 20, 24. So we might see that this is a plus 4 arithmetic sequence. So every time we're adding 4, which means this sequence is going to increase forever. The terms of this sequence are just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, and they're never going to close in on a particular number. They're not going to hone in on a number. They're just going to keep growing. So we say the limit of this sequence does not exist. And usually we abbreviate does not exist as DNE. So we say the limit DNE does not exist. Um, okay, so if you're always getting bigger, uh, you're getting more and more positive, or you could also be getting more and more and more negative. We're not going to um, have a limit. There's another way we could not have a limit. Um, so let's look at this sequence. Negative two, one, negative two, one, negative two, one. So in this case, we're bouncing back and forth between two numbers. So because we're bouncing back and forth, we're not approaching a single number, right? 
bouncing between two numbers. So not approaching a single number. So in this case, we also say the limit does not exist. Okay, so long story short, if you approach a single number, the limit exists. If you do not approach a single number, the limit does not exist. Okay, you can check out the examples video or head on to your um, check for understanding.